here with head coach Brad Evans. Uh, Brad, uh, last regular season match on Thursday, uh, home against Northern Illinois. Um, they're a team that's you know kind of trying to fight their way into the tournament. Um, and you guys qualified last Friday with the win over Ohio. Congratulations. Um, you know, just talk about the excitement of this last match, and you know, you kind of get hopefully everything together as you prepare for the uh, conference tournament. Sure, and um, you know, we're. I think it's eight straight years we've qualified for the conference tournament. And I'm really proud of that fact, and I think our players take pride in that. And it hasn't been easy this year, obviously, and there's been some ups and downs. But I think we're playing better. Um, you know, there's some areas that can still be improved, but we're creating a little bit more. We're, we're you know, more players are engaged. We're getting some bench people to get some quality production. And, you know, so hopefully that translates into this last week. Northern's obviously a team that, you know, fights a good word, and I think they're... You know, he's done a great job of, uh, of bringing around a change of mentality for them, and they're going to come in here ready to play. And you know, but you need that this time of year. I think it's a good uh, challenge for mm -hmm. the uh, before we play in the conference tournament. Mm -hmm. um, Rachel McLeod, um, you know, has been so close all year, fighting the injuries and the attack and stuff. And you know, you need that dynamic goal scorer, offensive player of the year last year. You know, getting two goals mm -hmm. um, on uh, Friday against Ohio. You know, just talk about her finally getting over that hump and hopefully she can continue that and kind of lead and then the others can kind of follow. Yeah, and I think for Rachel, I think the key is just continue to be dangerous and goals will either come and if, it, even if they don't, it's being dangerous and being a threat will create other things. And, you know, we found other ways to score. I mean, we scored quite a few goals off of restarts this year and you know, soccer is not a thing that you just have one way. In any sport, you've got to find other ways uh, as well, so you're not a one-trick pony. And so our goal is to be balanced to some degree, and center backs are scoring goals. And it's just, and you have these years where different people score goals, and it's whether you have one more than the opposition at the uh, end of the day. Um, and now, I noticed you guys have been getting some penalty kicks as of late, um, so that means you are creating opportunities yep. in the box and are being dangerous. So that's got to be, uh, you know, another... Um, uh, advantage for you guys as you know you head head into a conference tournament well, I think action. it's that's a function of just getting people in the box and having the ball at your feet in the mm -hmm. box or being in a position to have the ball at your feet in the box and maybe we weren't doing that in the early part of the season with the way we were playing and you know we've had to adjust and adapt and um, that's okay and I think that our players are probably long term better at least a little bit better soccer players for having to figure out different things instead of just seeing it one way they've got to look at it a different way so you know, that's been a learning experience for all of us. Mm -hmm. And then defensively, six of the ten matches, you guys have given up one goal or less, which is, you know, you give yourselves opportunities to win. Um, and, you know, there's uh, three seniors in that back unit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that, that bodes well for you as you head into uh, postseason play. Well, we, hope, we hope it does. I think you still have to play well game to game, and what you did yesterday really doesn't matter tomorrow. And, um, you know, so hopefully we can draw on some experience and ability back there and, you know, We'll take it game by game. I know Northern will be, you know, ready to challenge and, and, and push some players on the backs, and we'll have to see how we adjust and adapt. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks. Good luck, and um, I look forward to speaking to you next week uh, as you prepare for uh, the conference tournament. All right. Thanks.